and is the morning. I hope everyone is doing well. Sorry, I'm using two different <laughs> platforms, so I got to coordinate that. Um, happy Thursday, uh, last day before the long weekend. So hopefully you've got um, some time planned with your friends and families, even if it's virtual. Please make it virtual. Uh, today, I want to talk about the feet, okay? Um, so some of you may know I am a level one barefoot specialist. And so I know a little bit about the feet, um, probably more than the average person who doesn't study them, but nowhere near an expert, but I'm getting there. Um, and someone had asked about foam rolling for your feet and if that works. So I thought that I would do a video about that. So there's a couple things I want to talk about, first of all. So um, this is um, a picture, an image from the College of Reflexology. I am not a reflexologist, but um, there's lots of um, information here. Different parts of your foot are connected to various parts of your body. So it's really important that we take care of our feet and our feet do a lot of work for us every day, right? Um, the other thing that I wanna mention about the feet is that for walking, we need only five degrees of flexion, okay? In our ankle, okay? And what that means is not from here to here, from 90 back, okay, when we talk about dorsiflexion. So when my foot is actually at 90, from the position of 90 degrees back, we only need five degrees for walking. And in fact, most people don't have that. Most people are sitting at one or two. If they're really fantastic. They're sitting at three or four degrees of flexion in the ankle. And that is a huge problem. Oh, I just realized I forgot my light. I'm so sorry. See, there's so many things happening. Okay, and so many of us don't even have enough flexion for walking. So this is a bit of a problem. And so if you have um, aches and pains in your feet, it could be because you lack range of motion and mobility in your ankle, okay? And the bottom of your foot, right, runs along the bottom of your foot and you can feel it. So if you if you grab your foot and then flex your toes, you'll feel the fascia there. And that attaches um, into the Achilles tendon and then goes up the leg. So there is a lot going on in our feet. There are lots of contact points on our feet, insertion points for the other muscles that run down the leg and then attached to the bottom of the foot. So if there is something happening in your foot, you might not feel it in your foot, but you might have other things happen up the chain, okay? So sometimes <clears throat> the pain or the discomfort that you feel um, is because of what's happening in your feet, but you actually feel it in other parts of the body, okay? And so Quickly, just to remind you what fascia is. Fascia is the connective tissue that surrounds all the muscle fibers, okay? And, and the, the fascia should move like this, right? It should move, it should be flexible, it should be pliable. But what happens is through overuse or injury, it becomes less flexible. So what happens then is it's kind of like Velcro. So think about, and we're talking specifically about the foot and that, that fascia line right down the middle, if it's super tight and you try and move and you try and walk, right? So I'm, I'm doing this motion with my foot. I'm okay. So then you get pain. So there are things you can do for rolling. You can roll your foot. Okay. So you know that I love trigger point products. And you know that I love Trigger Point because of a couple of things. One, the hollow core with the hard center in the middle is really important. The capacity to, of weight that it can hold is 500 pounds for these foam rollers. Um, but the thing I really love about them the most is that they, their design of the foam roller itself, right? So um, the big 
part, the big flat part is the density. The foam is the density as if you were pushing your hand on it. So if I were getting a massage with the hands, okay? The density of these long skinny ones is as if a finger were pushing. So that's, just, that's the density of that foam. And then the little pokey ones here, the little small ones are the density of a fingertip. So when I roll, it feels different if I'm rolling on the big part, if I'm rolling on the fingers, or if I'm on the fingertip area, it definitely feels different. So as far as rolling your foot is concerned, there's a couple things. You know, as always for rolling, you're gonna go slow and you're only gonna cover about an inch at a time, even less on the foot. The foot is very sensitive, so please be mindful of that. You can do it standing. I prefer to do it seated. Um, you can roll the whole foot. Just be very careful of the heel because there's not a whole lot in there, just the fat pad that's around there, the skin, and then the bone. So it, it's very easy to bruise your heel. So just, do, I don't roll the heel. It's very uncomfortable too, it's the bone, right? Like it's a huge bone in the foot. Um, but other than that, you can roll any part of the foot that you want. So basically it's all the same techniques for other rolling. So I'm gonna put my foot on there. So remember, I love compression. So I'm just gonna put my foot on and I'm gonna push into the roller. If I want, I can do a little bit of rolling. Okay, I can uh, move my toes. So I'm moving the muscles. I'm moving the fascia in this case along the bottom of my foot. Okay, and, and that's basically it for foam rolling. Now, if you don't have a trigger point roller, that's fine. I've said this before. If, as long as you roll, I don't care what you use, okay? These guys have a much better product than some of the other foam rollers I have tried. I don't like to roll my feet with a lacrosse ball. So it's a little bit harder than this. So you have to be a little bit more gentle. So for me, so when I have the foam roller and I'm rolling, I put my whole foot on it, right? When I'm rolling with the ball, I'm gonna put my heel on the ground. Let's see. I'll put the heel on the ground and then I'm just gonna rest my foot on the ball. And I find with the ball, I have a little bit more control um, over which area. It's much more localized, right? Because the surface area is much smaller than it is on the foam roller. So I, I feel the difference um, a little bit more and I, I like the feeling of it better with the ball, okay, with the lacrosse ball. Some people use a tennis ball, it's fine. A tennis ball is not as hard um, as the lacrosse ball, but you have to determine how it feels for you. So the thing is, is that if you are in a state of inflammation and it's very, very um, tender, then you know it's going to be harder to do. It's gonna be more sensitive, right? Um, but if you feel okay, use the ball. Some people don't like the ball. Um, and then there's this ball, <coughs> excuse me, which Trigger Point has made, and this is specifically designed for the feet, okay? And I like this ball because it kind of, it, because the little, the little raised areas on it, I can actually get into my toes a little bit better with the foam, with the ball than if I'm using the foam roller. It, it, it doesn't spread it doesn't feel the same with the lacrosse ball. So if you if you can, like my toes are on it, it feels good. But on this one, I can feel the individual raised areas on the bottom of my toes. So it feels completely different. And then I can kind of wrap my toes around it. I really like this trigger point ball for the feet uh, more than the lacrosse ball. But again, it's all about personal preference. So it's it depends on what you like, right? Um, the thing to remember, though, is you don't want it to be too painful. So if you're in a flare-up, you know, you're probably going to, and I'm not giving you medical advice, right? I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a chiropodist. I'm not a podiatrist. I'm just telling you what works for me. This is about me and what I like, me and what my clients have had um, uh, benefits through, things that have helped me. So for me, I would recommend, I would, for me, I heat my foot. 
okay? Because the thing is, is that fascia is living tissue, right? And we're trying to break down that fascia and help new fascia lay down in that area. So if there's inflammation in there, it means, right? Remember those, we talked about this, those knots. So that's kind of what's happening. It just feels a little bit different on the foot in that, in that, that fascia there. Um, it's not necessarily a knot. It feels kind of like a tight rope right? But there's no blood flow to the area and the rolling gets the blood flow in there. So, you know, heat it a little bit. That's, this is what I do. I heat it a little bit on the bottom. So a heating pad on the bottom of my foot, and then I roll and then I heat it again because the heat brings blood to the area. The rolling brings oxygenated blood into the blood cells, right? And then heating again, brings more blood to that area. So, um, I'm helping the fascia heal. Now, that being said, research tells us it's about, you know, anywhere from seven to 12 months to heal the fascia. That doesn't mean it's going to take seven months, but it could. And depending on what your problem is, depending on how long it's been going on um, there, it could take you a little bit longer to break down that fascia in your foot okay so rolling is great uh, i strongly recommend it be very gentle like i said i mean come back to our you know my my reflexology thing here and this is just the, the basics right um there are so many parts of your foot that correspond to different parts of your body okay so it's not just a fascia but it's connected to other parts other organs and, and things that are happening in the body. So be very gentle. So for example, let's say, you know, I have a problem, I don't know, with my, with my bladder, right? Well, if I'm rolling my foot and I'm on the spot that corresponds to my bladder, it might be a little bit more sensitive, right? It might be a little bit um, tender, Okay, when I'm actually rolling that area because I have a problem right now with my bladder. So it does correspond. So be very gentle. I see people have hopped on here. Good morning. Oh, yes, I agree, Ted. I would love to be doing this in my condo in Costa Rica. Next video down the road, we'll be in Costa Rica. I totally prefer that background. I, I agree. Thanks for uh, watching, though. <laughs> um, but the thing is, is that your feet are really important and we, we use them all the time and we forget about them. And I, I think that they take a, a huge beating and we don't give them a the love that they need. So even if you don't feel any discomfort in your feet, I strongly encourage you to roll because that fascial line that goes down the bottom of your foot, remember, it goes across the the bone in your in your heel it attaches into the Achilles tendon and then goes all the way attaches to everything else up your leg okay so that remember we talked about this flexion you need 5 degrees of flexion for walking and most of us don't have that so how can rolling your foot even be something that's negotiable like you should just roll it it brings blood flow to the area it keeps everything really healthy and so many people that you know have foot problems per se, maybe maybe are not foot problems. Maybe it's you know you you don't have the range of motion for walking, so that when you walk, you're not getting the full movement of the of the actual walk of the road. To, um, what's the word I want? The rolling through the foot that you should be getting because you have limited mobility or like the person that asked me to do this video, the fascia on the bottom of your foot is just not flexible. It's not moving the way that it should. So when you walk, it causes you pain. Okay. So really rolling is a great thing and it doesn't take a long time. You can spend, you know, a minute, roll each foot and then off you go for your day, roll in the morning, roll at night before bed. And even though it doesn't feel like anything's happening again, remember rolling keeps the fascia healthy it brings blood to the area okay that you're rolling and it just brings in new blood and it keeps everything healthy so i strongly encourage you to roll um, if you have any other questions or if you want me to do other videos on rolling on different parts of the body or anything for that matter please uh, let me know i'm happy to do that
And um, I hope that helps with the rolling. Just be gentle with your foot. It is a sensitive area. One last thing, it might feel like nothing's happening. Because remember, you know, we have our cells are microscopic, right? So even though you're rolling, you might not feel any difference. Just be patient. Things are happening. You're putting blood flow to an area that hasn't had it for a long time, okay, potentially. And it just feels good and your feet will be happier. So I hope that that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or any issues um, or any concerns, please feel free to comment. Um, share this video as much as you like. Um, and feel free to send me a private message if you'd like to talk about something. If you need help with anything on your health and wellness journey, I am always available to help you to answer questions, whatever you may need. I am here for you and uh, have a fantastic Thursday. Have a great long weekend and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.